scraps and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you my December Daily 2021 album flip through. So if you were not following along last December, I shared every single process video, I'm pretty sure, in a video here on YouTube. So I'm going to be flipping you through the entire album that is completed. But if you're interested in seeing how any of the pages were made, I'm going to link the playlist in the cards up here so you can click on those and scroll through and get some inspo. I know that this time of year, everyone's eagerly awaiting the start of this project and looking for all the inspo. I know that I am, so if you have any favorite playlists or videos or people you're watching right now, or maybe you yourself have some cool December daily content to share, definitely let me know down below what you're loving, what you're watching, what's inspiring you because I'm always looking for that myself. And looking towards this season, I will be sharing a ton more process videos. I'm gonna be sharing my December daily kit, some hauls of what I bought this year. If I haven't already posted my Allie Edwards one, that will be coming soon. If I did post it, I will link that up in the cards for you. But yeah, I am super excited for this project. But without further ado, I will show you guys a flip through of my album. So the outside, I have my little book plate that I designed on Canva. I've been doing that lately and it's been really fun. Just a super simple little design. And if you followed along last season, December daily season, I did not use this album. You might not recognize this album. This is actually from the 2022 Allie Edwards release. And it's one of the albums that was released this year with the collection. Last year, I was excited to buy Ally products, but I was trying to be a little bit thrifty, and so I didn't buy an album from Ally because they are a bigger ticket item. I wanted to save that money and spend it on more embellishments and products and have my money stretch a little further. So I bought the Echo Park little Snowflake album. This is also a six by eight album, but as you can see, the spine is significantly smaller. So I ended up having to purchase a second album during the season last year and I had two albums and it really annoyed me. I didn't like the experience of flipping through multiple albums. I know some people love it and there's nothing wrong with it, but for me, I didn't like it. So this year when I saw the albums come out, I loved all of the albums Allie came out with this year and I thought, what a perfect excuse to buy an extra album and I will use this album to store my last year's two albums. The only thing is it's like, it fits, but it's bursting at the seams. So the experience of flipping through it is not the best, but I'm making it work. And you know, one day there's going to be like five inch binder rings and that day I will not have this problem anymore. But anyways, starting off with my title page, I was inspired by, I believe it was Peacock Pigments. I scrap lifted this idea from her. I used a ton of these little canvas fray strips from Allie. I think I used all but one of them last year, so I love those. I did get the new ones this year. I'm very excited about that. But it's basically just like this cute little 3D ornament thing. It does get a little bit smashed in the album, but I'm not losing sleep over it. And I use these little tokens to say 2021. Backside, I just wrote a little bit of like my goal for documenting the season, my uh, reason why, if you will, very brief. And then started with a beautiful Christmas tree photo. This story number one is all about decorating for the holidays. So my family was all home. My brothers were in town. We were all together. And we decided to convince my brothers to help us set up all the decorations. So my mom, my brother's fiance, and I were very excited to decorate. And our dog Tonga here was pretty excited too. A lot of new things to smell. The boys were less excited, but they were good sports. So I did this kind of pocket page where I have a floating tag. I have a little shaker thing. I use this little card. This is from scrapbook.com. And I just did a little red dot on the number one calendar. And then I have a little flip of the boys putting the tree together. It is a fake tree that is very beautiful. Story number two is all about my new ornament for the year. So I bought this really cute panda popping out of a present. It's like a painted wood ornament that I saw at Paper Source. 
and I had to get it because, you know, I'm obsessed with pandas. Then this is story number three, which is, again, the same day as story number one, but I just had more photos. That's something I have an issue with is I take a lot of pictures and I'm not the best at being, like, concise. I want to use all of them. So this is a little pop-out. It's a photo of me, real candid, real not staged at all, talking about how we were excited to decorate. It was super fun putting all the new ornaments on. You can see right there is the little panda ornament from before, which I think is a fun little like Easter egg. Story number four is all about going to the Christmas tree farm. So my boyfriend, Steven, his family lives a few hours north of us in Northern California. And they live where a lot more farming and growing and agriculture actually happens. And so he took me to the Christmas tree farm that he grew up going to. And they 100% went to the Christmas tree farm just for me. They've definitely gone, gone a million times in the past, but they don't always buy their tree there every year. Sometimes they do a fake tree, whatever. But I was super excited. I really wanted to go. So we made a trip up there to go to the Christmas tree farm. And it was so fun. So there's him and his dad carrying the tree in. I did a little Polaroid. These are the cute little train tickets. You got to go on this cute little steam engine train that took you around the property. You could stop off, pick your tree, cut it down, put it back on the train, come back. It was like the best experience ever. I had so much fun. And then you flip this up. This is the name of the tree farm. And then this is a picture of the train. So the guy who owns the tree farm, owns the property, something like that. He built this little mini replica steam engine that like is an actual steam engine. And he also built the trains at Disneyland. Like he was the one who was commissioned to build these like replica trains that drive around at Disneyland. So I'm gonna insert a video of the train like powering up and like all the steam coming out. I was like, freaking out like it was definitely like to get the kids excited and I was like damn near crying because I was like having the best experience so this is one of my favorite stories from last year and it was right in the beginning of the month if you get video you can stop it for story number five just talking about setting up the christmas tree at my boyfriend's parents house this is their dog it's actually her birthday today it's november 1st as i'm recording this and it's her 14th birthday so she's a gem this is zoe and then on the back i did some journaling Story number six is about visiting my brother and his fiance. They live like an hour or so away from me. So I went and had a sleepover. We did some fun little holiday crafts and their neighborhood has a ton of really good Christmas lights. So we took their dog for a walk around the neighborhood and we dragged my brother along. He did not want to go, but we were like, you have to come so you could take a photo of us for my scrapbook. So we brought him and we got our cute photo talking about the lights. This is another photo that's like, 0.5 so you can see more of the lights and this is more of like an up close so my all is bright sticker was like perfect then story number seven is all about holiday movies i watched and rating them so i started off really strong i was using my gold washi tape that has stars on it to like signify how many stars this is a really pretty sequin mix from rachel talman co i bought a bunch of sequins from her throughout the year and these christmas ones are gorgeous she has a Christmas advent calendar sequin mix that she released and I think she's gonna be releasing more holiday sequin mixes so I will link her shop down below for you guys but yeah so this is story number one and I did some little filler pages or story number one this is story number seven the back side of it is more movies I didn't end up reading these because this is like sort of something I threw together at the end but anyway so that is my little movie thing then I have story number eight, which is secret stockings. So 
This is a car or an envelope from Allie Edwards and I just put a little Velcro. I did my journaling here. We started a new tradition. So I have a huge family and so I started this tradition last year where everyone was assigned a different person in the family to stuff a stocking for. So Steven was our like coordinator. He did like a random spinner to assign names and he texted the person, each person in our family who they were assigned. So no, everyone was surprised. So I took little photos of us on my Polaroid when we did this. I don't remember what the date was that we did this, but I took little photos of each person in the chair when they opened up their stocking and I wrote on the bottom who had who. So these are not like the best quality photos, but I think that's a really fun memory. And I did print, take these on my actual Polaroid. I didn't do them and then print them on the printer, which it turns out better when you do it that way. But this is more like, you know, legit. And then there's a group photo. And anyways, I thought that was really fun. On the back side, I just decorated it. Story number nine is actually from the tree farm. That was story number four, but I didn't include this photo. I actually forgot in that process. And I really like this photo of us on the little train. So I just did story number nine, very merry, no words. It was simple. Story number 10, I talked about this in the process. So if you want the full story, you can head over there. But essentially I dragged my mom into a Bass Pro Shop and found out there was a Santa there, made her take a photo with Santa. And we were in Louisiana randomly, really weird neighborhood in Louisiana. And Santa at the Bass Pro Shop was chewing tobacco and spitting in his spit cup in between children that he was taking photos of. So if you want the rest of that story, definitely head over to the process video for that. But my mom was like mortified and I was dying laughing. It was so funny. But uh, he was definitely a less than magical Santa, but one we will never forget. This is story number 11. I went with two of my girlfriends from college to this bar that was completely decked out for Christmas. Miracle, I think, is like the company that does it maybe. Um, I know it's something they do in a bunch of different places in Southern California. They might do it across the country. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely going to do this again this year. It was so fun. You can see it's like completely decked out in holiday decorations. And then this was the menu. It was like a paper menu for the holidays. And I, of course, stuffed that in my purse. And you can see all the fun different cocktails they had. And I turned this into a book. This is one of my favorite spreads I made last year. It's super fun. So this is another photo of us drinking our little drinks. I'm not a big drinker, but I love like a fun, spectacular thing like that. And we actually waited in line for like an hour and a half to get into this bar. It was insane, but I think it was worth it. I'm a very patient person. A little overhead shot. You could see the menu right there. And then this was the drink I got, which was super cute. Or, well, it wasn't really that cute. It was super good. My friends got their drinks based on, like, what cup they came in. And I went into the night thinking, like, I don't care how bad the drink is. I want the cutest cup for my photo in my scrapbook. And then when it came down to it, I was going to spend, like, almost $20 on a drink. I wanted to get the one that I wanted. And my drink definitely tasted the best. You can see my friend Annie's drink had, like, a roasted marshmallow in this cute reindeer cup. Shannon had like a mug, a Santa mug, and mine was in like a plain little like glass, but mine definitely tasted the best. So there was that. Then story number, did I have a red number on this one? Oh, I think it's from the back of it. Story number 12 is friends and cookies. So those same two girls and a couple other friends came over for a cookie party. So this is the whole group. And this is me and Steven. We dressed up in like ugly Christmas sweaters. Hazel even had her sweater on. And we made cookies. So I made sugar cookies for us to all decorate. And then my friends brought a couple different recipes of types of holiday cookies. We all baked them together and shared them. And like everyone took some home. It was really, really fun. And then I also made that like super popular like Christmas tree shaped garlic butter, cheese, bread, pull apart thing. It was very popular on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff last year. That was fun to make. So we did that. Also, I want to say I really love this photo. I take a ton of photos during the season. I take a ton of photos in general, but I am in my album a lot. Like I'll get my boyfriend to take photos of me or we'll get photos together, but I don't often get 
like candid photos of myself because I'm the one who tends to document. And while I can ask people to take photos of me like in situations, I love having these like candid photos. Now, I probably told someone to take this photo, but I'm glad I did. It's a little awkward. It's a little annoying, especially with people who don't scrapbook, they don't get it. But I really love this photo and it's something I definitely want to make note of to do again this year. So flipping through this album with you guys is fun because it's, it's reminding me of what I enjoyed last year, what worked, what didn't, what I definitely want to do again in terms of like scrapbooking techniques, but also like photos to take. So this is a higher quality photo of the whole group. Story number 12, you can see little Hazel, really cute. So then I have a transparency. This is where my old little album ran out of space and I switched to the new one. So I made this like opening page. It says joyful, magical moments together. But I just kept it in because I thought it was cute and you know, it doesn't take up much space. So I kept it in when I refigured the albums. The next story is story 13, which is all about going on the Polar Express train. So I dragged sweet patient Steven like an hour east of where we live to this Polar Express train experience. And let me tell you, we were the only adults there that did not have children with us. And I felt a little bad for Steven. It was very corny, but I loved it. I think he enjoyed himself, but like we were talking about it and I was saying like, I would go back again. And he was like, I don't think I need to go back again. But again, I didn't grow up celebrating Christmas a ton, like in my own childhood. I definitely celebrated it with my cousins who are younger than me, but it was very much about them and their magic. And I didn't grow up having that magic. We celebrated Hanukkah. We didn't like grow up believing, you know, the whole Santa shtick. And so it's fun as an adult to relive those experiences. And I think that like, if you are ever too old to have fun doing things like that, I don't ever want to be too old and I think that it's a choice and I'm choosing not to be. So I had a ton of fun. I used our tickets, which were like the golden tickets and the guy came over, punched it just like the Polar Express in the movie. We had our little attendants and the train car was all decorated. We drove and the train actually moves. We drove to the North Pole and out the window, you could see all the elves dancing around. We got our hot chocolate, of course. They sang the song, did the dance. I cut... I brought the cup home, of course, as scrapbookers do, transporting garbage. I cut the little thing out. I used the rest of those um, sequins from Rachel, currently drinking hot cocoa. And then this is the other part of the cup. And then Santa came on board with the first gift of Christmas, the silver bell. And, you know, I was freaking out to Steven. I was like, do you think they're not going to give me a silver bell because I'm not a kid? Because I really want a silver bell. And sure enough, Santa gave me a silver bell. I think I teared up. Steven got a picture because I told him to. And this is such a fun memory for me. So story 13, that was that. And then here's Santa. I think maybe he was singing a song. I don't remember. And then here's us in our masks. It was still mandated because it was like on an actual train, which is like public transportation. So that was like a funny little memory. But yeah, that was awesome. Steven's the best. Story 14, we went ice skating. So I made this really cute like waterfall book. I really loved this. I used these um, frames from Allie Edwards, my little metal token. This is another one of my favorite layouts. It is pretty thick and bulky, which, you know, it takes up space in the album. And like, you know, that's something to think about. I made this pocket as a foundation page, which I will link my foundation pages video. And the cards for you guys as well but i love the way this came out and i also love incorporating blues and silvers because that's very wintry to me it's also hanukkah e to me so i liked this break from the red and the green which i think came out super cute and then story 15 is all about going to my brother's football game there's some people in this picture that i'm just gonna cover but we went to his football game. He had a bowl game. He plays college football. So here's my mom and I in front of their like fun football design. And then here is a photo of the game. And then afterwards, we have a photo with him and all of his like closest teammates and their families. 
And then at the end of the game, we all took our photo together and I got all the families together from his good friends. And it just reminded me that like, we're so grateful that we have met all these wonderful people through his football and being able to support him and like kind of the bigger picture of the season. So that was a good one. Story 16 is the only story that is nothing. So I bought this paper. I collected so many cute little gnome things because my mom is obsessed with gnomes in the holiday times. Like you can see all her little gnomes. And I have this cute photo. I decorated it on Canva. Stockings were hung with care. But I think what I wanna do is to document a couple of my favorite gnomes from her like holiday collections and like include like circle photos of them and then I'll do a little journaling about them. But honestly, like I didn't take those photos last year and by the time I got back around to this, like the decorations were put away. So I don't mind going back and redoing this even though the photos will have been taken a year later because I think the story is still the same. I got my mom these really cool handmade ceramic gnome ornaments that I think I'll document and that's something that like was a story from last year so I can talk about how I ordered them for her and whatever. So not the end of the world, but there's that, the reality. Story 17 is about this puzzle. So my brother's fiance gave me this really cool wooden puzzle for Christmas. She was my secret stocking person. She had me. So there's that. And then story 18 is all about Hanukkah. So I used some stamps from Allie Edwards that she put out, a Hanukkah stamp set. I have these little Star of Davids from Redefine Creative. And then I have some simple stories, I think. Scrapbook stuff. This paper is definitely from scrapbook.com. So there's that. We have a little gnome menorah, of course. And in the back side, story 19 is about Matzo Ball Soup, which is my favorite thing about Hanukkah. Matzo Ball Soup is so good. If you've never had it, you need to try it. It's so good. Then story 20 is missing a tag, but this is all about self-care. So I wrote about how some things I'm doing to take care of myself during the holiday season. I talked about stocking up on, stocking up on holiday bath bombs from Lush and also joining Leilani Scrap's Patreon Zooms, which this is my second month being her Patreon. I think it was her third month of, month of having Patreon. And I was loving, so you could see my little snowman bath bomb. And then this is a photo of us from the holiday Zoom. So I have my little antlers on. And it just was a really, it still is a really fun thing that I participate in, but it was really new to me this time last year. And it was something that was bringing me a lot of fun and joy in the season. This is a foundation page as well that I did. Story 21 is all about cocoa bombs. So me, this is mine. This is my brother D'Angelo's. And this is my boyfriend Steven's mug. And I just did like a aerial view and it's there's not much to the story but it's really fun story 22 this is another one of my absolute favorite layouts I like the story a lot too so it just says bring on the joy I made this during the prep party last year um, during the Ellie Edwards prep party so this is one of the envelopes that she made so on the front is Hazel um Steven's dog and she's sleeping in front of Steven's parents tree and then on the back, oh wait, that's another story, I lied. When you pull it out, I have a little bit of journaling talking about how Steven sent me this photo of Hazel and I had just taken this photo of my parents' dog, Tonga, sleeping like underneath or beside the tree. And I just talked about how it was so cool to get these coincidentally matching photos of both dogs sleeping under a tree. And I said, there must be something inviting about a nap under the Christmas tree. So I really freaking love this spread. And it's something I definitely want to recreate. Allie did do another vellum pocket in the same size this year that I purchased. So story 23, we're making it through you guys. I know this is super long and chatty, but hopefully you're enjoying it. This was about going to get some hot cocoa with my cousin Bianca. And I wrote, I treasure all of our time together. Remember this. These are such special times for me because I know that she's going to be graduating high school, going off to college, living her own life. So I'm really trying to soak up the time we have together while she's just a few minutes down the road. So I love that photo of us. 
Story 24, Christmas Eve. This is actually on Christmas Eve. I don't document like chronologically in terms of like what actually happens on the date. Like this probably wasn't on the 23rd, but this was on the 24th. We have this really cool street not that far from our house where people do like insane Christmas decorations. But I love this spread. It's really simple, but I love the way it worked out. This is an Allie Edwards paper from maybe 2019 that I bought on clearance. I wrote the date. I did a little design. It's so simple, but this is definitely like a page that's like was set up to be super easy. And I just used my circle punch. This is just a filler page. I made this during foundation pages. I just really liked all this stuff and it's just a filler page. So story 25, Christmas day. I did another photo of the tree, but this time it has all the presents underneath it. The first day or the first story, obviously there was no presents and I cut a little slit in the photo and I stuck this little sticker on it. And you can see my brother D'Angelo opening up his Christmas present. There's a little story on the back for that. And then here is my little like final note. So I love that. And then I had a couple more stories to tell. So story 26, this is post Christmas. So I thought that it was nice my note ended there, but then I had some more to tell. So this is Steven and I, he comes home after being with his family for actual Christmas and we do a makeup Christmas. This is our third year doing this. We've always done it. And it's honestly one of my favorite things. It's a bummer that we don't celebrate the actual holiday together. But I think it's nice because we make time to have like a very us celebration, exchange our gifts, and it's still really special. So I wrote Makeup Christmas. I really love the way this little spread turned out. It's a little citrus twist, um, like Instax size layout. And then on the back side, story 27 is my cousin and I, we did gingerbread houses. But um, yeah, so there's that story. I'm just gonna leave it out for now. And then story 28, um, so D'Angelo's birthday is December 27th and we celebrated his birthday when it's a photo of his cake. He loves this cake my mom makes. And so he requests it every year on his birthday. He actually requests it every time he's home, but it's a really fun photo of him and like an actual smile. And I use some like little Christmas puffy presents, but it works because it's his birthday. So he is in college. So he isn't always home for Christmas. So it's cool that he was able to be home for Christmas and his birthday this year. But yeah, you guys, we're pushing over 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I hope you didn't mind the super duper chattiness. And thank you for sticking to the end if you're still here. I had so much fun documenting this past year, I guess it was last year. And it's also really fun to look through it again, you know? I make the album, but I don't look through them a ton of times, especially this album because it's so freaking bulky. It's like a lot to look through, but it just reminds me that this is the why I'm doing this project. There's so much to remember and so many things, even just looking back a year later that I forgot I documented and super special. So I'm really, really excited to get back to it this year. I'm doing 10 by 8 for the first time. I'm really excited. I'm hoping the 10 by 8 will allow me to have a little more space and help me with my bulkiness problem, but it's just part of the fun. That is all for me. If you want to keep up and see more of my holiday videos, more of my December daily content, definitely subscribe. I will be posting a lot of stuff. So if you want to keep up with that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm Oofy Scraps over there. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.